What is up guys, this is Joe with Optic. Today we're going to be talking about the Borderlands Remaster. Quick heads up, the game is rated M, so there might be some things that are kind of inappropriate for little ones. Anyways, this is a first person looter shooter, and Borderlands is a very different game, but that's what makes it great. So, you want to hear a story, huh? One about treasure hunters. <laughs> Have I got a story for you, Pandora. This is our home, but make no mistake, this is not a planet of peace and love. They say it's a wasteland, that it's dangerous, that only a fool would search for something of value here. Then perhaps I am a fool, but do not be fooled by what Pandora appears to be. There was a legend, many people tell it, the legend of the Vault. My father would always go on about the Vault, even with his dying breath. Advanced alien technology, infinite wealth, fame, power, women. So you can understand why some little kiddos who hear the stories grow up to become vault hunters. Well, I have a story you may not believe, but I tell you it is true. The legend of the vault is real, and it is here on Pandora. And they... Yeah, let's call her a guardian angel, appear to guide the vault hunters to their prize. The tale begins right here, on Pandora, with the brave vault hunters, the guardian angel, and most importantly, me. It seems like a simple and basic story, and at its core, it is. But like any good game, there's more to it. One thing that the series is known for is its weird humor and charm and seeing the original again remastered was great. All the characters who help you are all pretty intriguing and enjoyable in their own way. Sometimes the best lines are not even in story dialogue, but rather something small the character says in passing or right before or after you start a mission. I did enjoy the graphics being redone. It looked nice in the original, but being able to play it on 4K settings was awesome. And there's a really nice video that compared the original with the remaster, and I'll link that below in the description. The story is enjoyable, it's a good refresher if you haven't played the game in years, or if you never played the series, it's the best time to start. With the release of this and the up graphics for the Handsome Collection, you have everything you need to get caught up before Borderlands 3 comes out. You have the choice between four different characters to play as, and each has their own unique abilities. I personally like Sniper since they are generally a little bit more complicated to play as, and I like the challenge of having less health and armor and making your hits count, and this game does that. For example, early on in the game, I was about three or four levels under what I should have been. I thought, eh, that shouldn't make that much of a difference. I was wrong. I died numerous times before I admitted that I had to go level up. When I did come back, it was a fun challenge, and that's what makes this game so much fun. It's not easy, it can be challenging, but it's never insanely difficult that it makes you want to quit. And the small variety of enemies to fight are just fun. Another thing that this game is also known for and is awesome is that you can have local and online co-op. Which is something that games nowadays just don't do, unfortunately, and it is nice to have local co-op availability. So those are our thoughts on the game, without going too in-depth. It was, and still is, a lot of fun, and that makes us want three even more. Let us know in the comments below what you like about the game, or series in general. If you enjoyed the video, then please like and subscribe. We post new videos every Tuesday, we do reviews for all sorts of things. So go follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Keep up with us and feel free to make any recommendations. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time. Beef stick in the back. I'm not gonna make fun of you. Your burp smell of blood and you growl like a rabid animal.